Hello and welcome to our first vlog. We will be producing one of these every other month, so we hope you enjoy. Today I'm going to be talking about why the WS of Caterham and Godson were given this longboat by the islanders of Tristan de Cunha in 1961. In that year, the island of Tristan de Cunha suffered from a series of natural disasters, which culminated in the eruption of the volcano in October of that year. It was decided that this was a threat to the isle island's community and that they should be evacuated to Britain. They were guaranteed a warm welcome, and who was there to greet them? The WVS, of course. The WVS in Surrey prepared Pendle Military Camp for their arrival. They cleaned out the huts and scrubbed them of grime and dirt, laid Afghans on the beds and placed pots of flowers in the rooms. They also prepared the Nafi canteen and filled the children's room with toys and balloons. On a cold wet Friday in November, the islanders arrived. They stayed at Pendle Millage camp for three months and then moved on to Colshire RAF station on Southampton Water. The WVS of Hampshire, with as much enthusiasm as the WVS of Surrey, prepared the houses there and even made them 300 pairs of curtains using 1,400 yards of material. It just makes you wonder how full the centres were and if there were even, indeed any room left in the houses of the WVS members. It had been a very harsh winter in 1961 and 1962 and many of the islanders fell ill and also, as with many people far away from home, felt homesick and wanted to return. The Royal Society sent an expedition to the island and determined that it was safe for them to return in 1962. Between that year and 1963, small groups of islanders made their way home. They were very grateful to the way WVS had treated them, providing them with services such as clothing and children's parties. In 1963, the la last of the islanders returned home on the Bornholm with provisions including 27 tonnes of potatoes and 100 tonnes of other provisions to last them for six months, including tea and sugar. The islanders were very grateful and, as well as sent giving the WVS this longboat, the, the members were also sent thank you cards from the Peter Wheeler Foundation, like this one. It was reported in the bulletin in December 1963 that the Tristan de Kuna islanders have gone home in the spirit of determined independence which characterises them. The parting was sad for them and for WVS, who since their arrival in November 1961 have looked after them and become their friends.